Can you sort the whole into two parts? Stop the video and get three plates and four pieces of pasta or cubes or something you can use to count with. Now, place the four counting objects on one plate. Can you sort them onto two other plates, sorting the whole into two parts? Now, what can you count on this plate? That's right, there are five cupcakes. Can you use counting items like pasta or cubes to help you sort this whole into two parts? Is there more than one way you can sort the two parts? Here is my whole. I have five counters to represent the five cupcakes. One, two, three, four, five. How will I share them and put them into two parts? One, two in this one, and I think I'll put the rest in this one. I've got three here and two here. I'm putting them back together. Is there another way that I can put them into two parts. This time I'm going to put one here and then I'm going to put all the rest over here. One, two, three, four here and one here. When they move back, I still have five in the hole. Is there another way I can do it? Hmm, let me think. Maybe I could put them all in this part and none in this part. I've got zero here and five here. Have a go with your whole and part model. Can you find ways of sorting five into two parts? I'm going to sort my whole into two parts. Watch. One cake, one donut. Where does this one go? That's right, with the cakes. And this one, it goes over here with the donuts. Let's count how many we have in each part. One, two, two cakes. One, Two, two donuts. Which has more? Ah, well done. They have the same. Two cakes, two donuts. Complete the practice sheet from your folder. Can you sort the whole? into two parts. Draw your two parts and count how many are in each. Use the questions underneath the picture to help you help your child understand the concepts of whole and part when sorting objects.